So I'm sitting here at a stoplight. I was out running some errands. I was going to film a video while I was driving. And <clears throat> as I got here, it was just about to hit record. A police car was coming through. And so I was holding off. And it turns out that that, that policeman was at the head of a funeral procession. And so the video that I was going to make is now not the video that I'm going to make. Because uh, as well as, as I was watching that, I've been thinking a lot and been talking a lot to you guys and, and just thinking in my own head recently about needing to read better books and not wasting your time on reading books that aren't good, that aren't, that aren't actively making you a better person, right? And one of the reasons I'm so passionate about that is because when I was 13, I had a drowning accident and I died. And so everything from 13 to 33 now has been a second lease on life for me. Like I shouldn't be alive right now. I was clinically dead and was brought back to life. And so I have this, this burning inside me and, and a different kind of understanding of like life is so, so fragile and so, so just short. Whether you live a long time or not, your life can be cut short like that. And if all you had was up to this day, would you be glad with how you had used the time that you were given, right? And this is not to say that you can't ever read things that have that are just for fun. You know, I read a book yesterday. I read a, a middle school book that uh, I read in a single day. It's the, the first Guardians of Gahul book. And I'm going back and reading that series to, to see if it's one that my son could read right now. And it was just fun. But that book encapsulates some of these virtues that, that I talk about, um, you know, with strength and courage and mastery and honor and self-discipline and all these things, those, those, that book stirs up those things inside of me. And so it's a far better use of my time than reading some book that either doesn't encourage those virtues or that goes actively against those virtues. Right. And, and that's just why this is such a big deal to me is because you never know the day that's going to happen that you're going to be the one riding in that hearse that just passed me, right? Because I was 13 when I died. I didn't think that I was going to die that day. I never expected that I would die at 13, right? No one ever does. Um, and so just as you, as you go about the day, as you go about the week, just, just think about that. Examine your life and think about, okay, if I was to die today, would I be happy with how I've been spending my time? Or how I'm thinking about spending my time right now. And again, this is not a killjoy thing. This is not a like, oh, you can't ever have any fun, right? I play Xbox. I love playing Apex Legends right now. Like, I'm not I'm not this perfect person at this. And this is not this throw out anything that's any fun because fun is bad. That's not true at all. But it is this idea of think more severely about how you're spending your time. Because your time is precious. It's the only thing that you have that you can't ever get back. And... Once you have spent a moment, you can never get a refund on it. Absolutely ever, right? So examine what you're reading, examine what you're watching, examine who you're spending time with and decide if those are actually the things that you wanna be consuming and the people that you wanna be around, right? And then whenever your day does come and you are the one that ends up in the hearse, you don't get there with a whole bunch of regrets of man, I wish I would have done more with this time that I have, whether you die at 93 or whether you die at 13, right? So uh, hopefully that wasn't too morbid, but like I said, that was not the video I was planning on making, but uh, there you go. A little bit of my story, a little bit of uh, unintentional video. So love you guys. I'll see you in the next one.